Yeah, yeah. Okay, 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 okay. This is the fucking low road. This is the uh, this is the Denver edition. You know what I'm saying? Uh, let me get right to it. You know, um, for my millions and billions of fucking fans, who do I have here with me today? Yo, it's Trip. It's What's Trip. That? It's Trip. Now, we call it Trip. But how do I find you before we get into anything? What am I going to Google to find your beats and some of your music? Yeah, you can Google Suave Trip Beats. You can look it up anywhere. Twitter, Instagram, mm -hmm. do whatever. You find that anywhere. Mm -hmm. So we're going to start off. How are you doing today? I'm good, bro. How you doing? <laughs> I'm all right, bro. <laughs> I just drove here. Uh, it was like a 30-minute drive. My, my, my friend Trip here was uh, nice enough to have me in his home. Yes, Met sir. some of his niggas that are uh, got some athletes. We got some uh, uh, vocalists in here as well, all trying to get to the bag in uh, right. in the best way, I would say. Um, and for you know, f so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go all the way back before we go forward, right? So we're gonna figure out who Trip is um, as an adolescent before we get to the bullshit, you know what I mean? So, let's go all the way back. Where, what part of Colorado are you from, or parts? So, shit, I was born out in Colorado Springs, like, mm -hmm. lived there for, like, nine years, mm -hmm. moved out to Aurora. It's basically where I grew up, and shit, I just moved out here, like, this year, so. Yeah, and we're in Denver, but, sure. like, I'm Aurora, for sure. Yeah, and, and, and Aurora is, what, like, an hour away from the Springs? Is that how it works? Yeah, 50 minutes. An hour, you feel me? And yeah. they and they consider Aurora the the east side of Denver. So, right? Yeah, it's like east. It could be East Denver, but Aurora is separate from Denver. But it's like it, it's part of Denver. It's East Denver. Yeah, tell just me like a little bit about Aurora. So, other yeah. than uh, we know Selena Powell's from there. Yeah, Aurora's cool. <laughs> it's just like it's like a suburb of Denver. It's really where all like the minorities and shit be at too. It's like that's mm. what they say. But like it's East Denver part two. It's like minorities too, but. And, and I hear that because, uh, you know, I stay in Boulder, in Boulder right now. And uh, for the other parts of Colorado, uh, I've noticed it's, uh, it's pretty white. There's a lot of Mexicans. But other than that, it's, like, very white. Yeah, it is. You know? And I'm cool with that. Everywhere. I'm mixed or whatever. But I'd be looking around like, yo, like, where the niggas at, man? Yeah. <laughs> like, who am I going to talk to <laughs> when I get, like, fucked up? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, I heard that. You know what I mean? Like, I heard it's that. Crazy. It's just crazy. Um. Okay, so tell me a little bit about um, growing up in Aurora and some of the culture there and, like, what's going on there when you, as Shit. a kid. Not right now, but, like, as a kid, you know? As a kid, like... Yeah. Yeah, growing up, it was cool. Like, I was really into sports and shit, like... What sports? What sports, my friend? I was really a hooper, but, like, I played football a little bit, like, one year. I was, but what did you play? It wasn't really my shit. I was a oh, wide. Okay, fuck I that. was, like, a corner. Nice. Yeah, but it wasn't really my shit. But, yeah, hooping, that's my shit. Mm -hmm. I'm nice. Femi. Yeah, you, you were just talking about yeah. um, joining the league, right? Is it like intramural shit? It's something like that. It's like a little, you know, some little rec center shit. Yeah, yeah, that's me? that shit, though. You got to put me on the squad, man. Listen, bro, I'm like Patrick Beverly, you know, with a, <laughs> with a, with a reliable jumper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, if yeah. you got a jumper, we put you in that corner. That's what I'm saying. I sit in Maybe. the corner, and I, I take about four fouls for the team, you know? Listen, okay, so what about, tell, tell me more about Aurora and all that. Yeah, in Aurora, bro, it's like, it was hella cool growing up, but, like, as you got older, it, that's when it started to get worse. But, like, really, mm -hmm. if you just on your shit, like, sticking to yourself, it's cool. Yeah. Other than that, everybody's cool. Everybody nice. is, is a go-getter, you feel me? Yeah, 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 yeah. And then when did you um come out to, this is the DTC? Yeah, DTC. Called? Yeah, I just moved out here this year. And, yeah. and what was that about? Were you trying to get a little more serious? Just relocate out, out, the, out the city? What, what yeah, do you think I motivated to, this a little bit? Trying to move around from Aurora, but it's like, I'm probably going to go back. But it's like, yeah, I wanted to get around. But it's DTC. It's real nice out here. That's what I like. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to be around some bullshit all the time. Yeah, like you told me. So you say, okay, Aurora is the, um, here, I'm, I'm going to hit that next time. Uh, Aurora is the, hey, Still getting used to legal weed. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Smoke I'm still going to the shops, looking around, like, is this a sting? Is uh, this for real? <laughs> yeah, no, is this a setup? Is it real? Um, you say it's the burbs, but before I moved here, um, 
I seen the craziest shit going down in Aurora and the Springs for yeah. for suburbs. What, what do you think that is? Is that like is that just like the vibe around here? Is it just like anybody can get it anywhere? So what so, I heard, oh, like I, I'm really like from the Springs kind of, but like what I heard from like my uncles and shit, what they say was like people like migrated to Aurora. I guess like minorities, you feel me? Yeah, migrated to Aurora and then like. These niggas, like, it just started going down over there instead of over in East Denver, you feel me? But it's still going down over there. It's, it's going down everywhere now in Denver, but it's that's what it is. Like, now Roar's kind of bad. That's what they say. Yeah, that's what I, what yeah. I read. Is, is it, um, so, so East Denver, That is that is that kind of like the more, like, the trenches kind of neighborhood? Yeah. You gotta let me know, because um, I'm from out of town. Bro. You got to let me know. Y'all got to get me here. Y'all the youth. Yeah, like, he from around there. Like, it's more like inner city over there. From where? You know, like east side of Denver, like hillside, Mount Bello, shit like that. Yeah. Oh yeah. Wait, wait. It, it, Where it, are you it, from? Introduce your boy real quick, real quick. Yeah, tell him who you is, bro. Uh, my name is Key. I'm Key. Aurora. Yeah, but I would just say <laughs> you're close to the mic. I don't know. I would say like, <clears throat> as far as Denver and Aurora, I just say in Aurora, mm. there's more prominent suburbs, but there's definitely places where there's trenches, there's people on Section Eight. There's homeless people. There's, you know what I'm saying, violence, all that shit in Aurora as well. Ain't ain't nothing to be proud of neither, but you just say what man. it is. That's real shit. Yo, okay, so so, when did you start doing music? Pull that closer to you. When, when did you start start doing the music? Was it some something you did like as a kid, and you were like, oh, that's fun, and then you know, as an adult. Now you started taking it more serious. Was it something you just jumped into? Where did it start? Nah, like, so when I was a kid, like my mom used to make me go to church with her, mm-hmm. and that's when I like she like used to try to make me do like choir and stuff like. And you so were in the springs then. That was when I was in the springs, and I used to see like these very, dudes playing very. the piano, and so I used to be always trying to play the piano. I learned how to play off sound. That's when I started getting into music, and then play like, off your ear. Yeah, mm-hmm. exactly. I, I still play off ear. I can't read keys and shit, but I still like yeah. But you and know after that, that, yeah, <laughs> yeah. After that, I started getting into making beats because I was already dropping music. My boy put me on FL Studio, Don Blaze. And, I just and, and uh, beats. how old you? How old were you when you started with the the beats? Uh, sh- like eighteen, nineteen. Okay. I started messing with the okay. beats. Yeah. Made a whole tape. What was it called? Trippy Two. What Trippy or Trippy? Uh, Trippy Two. Trippy Two. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now oh, we gotta go through the names, right? Yeah. Because you know, yeah, okay. Trip, Suave Trip, Suave Trip. That's what it is now, but I know you had to have names before that. Yeah, so that's why I named the tape <laughs> If they're Trippy embarrassing, you got to tell me, because, though. Because, <laughs> uh, yeah, I named the tapes Trippy because that's what it is. My mm-hmm. name is, like, everybody was calling me Trippy. <laughs> so, mm-hmm. like, everybody's calling me Trippy, and then niggas just cut it short to Trip. Mm-hmm. But, like, you know, Trippy was what it was, so I just put the tapes as Trippy. So, and, yeah. and what kind of music would you say that you make? You could call it rap. You could call it hip-hop. But the subgenres now it's, it's so it's so big now. Like, w- yeah. what is your style? Bro? Like your melodic style? rap, like mm-hmm. yeah, melodic rap. Cause I could like I be singing and shit, but you know, yeah. be rapping too. Yeah. Now yeah. what happens? What happens when you get a deal, right? You get a producer deal. Yeah. They just want you as a producer. Yeah, that's like. And then they just don't believe in your music. They try to Kanye you, yeah. right? Like, you're great at beats. I don't know about that music, though. What are you going to do? Oh, yeah, I'm going to take that. Because I do beats more than my music. Because, like, my music, bro, if you listen to it, I don't write it. Like, I, I don't really write most, a lot of my songs. I, like, freestyle everything. Why these niggas freestyle all the time? I'm old. I'm old. Feel me? That's why I, that's, that's why I question it. You know what I mean? Yeah, I like I write some songs, bro, but I mm-hmm. can't write. Like, it's not me. Like, I'll just think too long or, and just start saying stupid shit or just, just start writing shit. But Overthink it. But if I'm in the studio just freestyling, I'll be, like, feeling it. You feel me? So I'll just, yeah. So when you freestyle, you got to be, like, in a zone? Yeah, or is it just whenever? You just turn that shit on, like? Yeah, we could do it whenever. Like, we sometimes yeah. we freestyle, but, like... I got to be in the zone for real behind the mic because the mic, behind the mic and just freestyling is two different things, you feel me? Very true. Yeah. So, so, damn. So, was your first version of FL Studio stolen? Uh, like stolen? mine's? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, I yeah. pirated that like, shit. Oh, nah. Yeah. Nah, my boy put me on Don Blaze. <laughs> he's like, boy, he's like, you should make beats. 
And I'm just like, uh, shit, I, I be making beats on my phone, like, on Garage Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he was like, shit, nah, a get FL Studio. And he just, like, plugged me in. He gave me his login. And then, yeah, I gave it back to him, though, but, yeah. <laughs> when you, um, so it, it's good to know about, your, like, your process and shit and, and what's going on. Like, do you, uh, do you have some things that motivate you to start getting to making the beats, you know? Or are you just like off the drugs and then you're like, I'm about to start making some beats? Uh, shit, like. Artistically, nah, what's you, gets you, what gets you going, bro? Like, bro, sometimes I'll just be like thinking of a melody in my head because when I'll be going to sleep, <laughs> also weird shit, like I go to sleep to like tapping and shit, like melodies. Huh. So, like, sometimes I could wake up in my sleep and start making a beat literally because I'll just be like thinking of some like sounds mm -hmm. and then I'll just hop on that shit. That's what really gets me going. But if I'm smoking, that's when I can repeatedly make like five beats straight or like six, seven. Like, I'll just keep going. But if I'm not smoking, I'll probably make like two. And just yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That much. <laughs> so it's the it's the it's the legal weed around here. What um, let me try to get a little closer to the mic if you can. It's uh, what what what's your favorite strand, man? Cause y'all experts. You know what I mean? Yeah. You get to pick whatever you want. Like what's what's like what what's your favorite strand? What kind of what kind of yeah. smoke? What kind of smoke do you blow, bro? Shit, I'll be fucking with Veritas. Like it's a, it's like more expensive weed. Like cookies and Veritas be be hit in snacks land. It's some good Colorado shit niggas should go touch. But Veritas is definitely some hidden shit. I, I like the Indicas with they shit. All the Indicas be hitting. You like the calm down type shit. Yeah, I don't like that sativa be hype and shit. I like that shit. I like yeah. that upper shit, man. <laughs> yeah. Especially if I smoke when I'm doing that shit, it's over with. I'm going to be throwing up or some shit. Oh, fuck all that. Fuck all that. Damn, Smoking bro. Smoking drink. I'm in fucking Denver, though. This shit's crazy out here, bro. They got the fucking red sun, shit smoking. People tell me the fucking state's on fire. Like yeah. a motherfucker. <laughs> that motherfucker on fire. On fire, literally. <laughs> mm. So, let me just ask some of the industry questions real quick to get that out the way. So I can go ahead and give me a job, feel me? Okay, right, like, yeah. who the fuck? If, if there were some people you could work with, who would it be? Like, this is dream. Top. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah, I'm talking like, about solidify. Yeah, yeah, I work with I work with Dirk for sure. I want to work with Little Dirk. Dirk. Yeah, I want to work with Boogie, uh, Future, Boogie, Future, definitely Roddy Rich. Yeah, yeah, a, yeah. Lot of, a lot of people I want to work with up there. The melodic. Yeah, you feel me? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Nice though. Dirk is probably one of the top because he, you know, he be going. Dirk be going. You really do. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. And then if you could pick a label or situation, and we're just talking, mm -hmm. we're just talking, you know, who, who would it be with? You know, it, it'd got to be right now, because you know how shit changes, you know what I mean? Some people are hot, and then they're nothing later. Shit, honestly, bro, I wouldn't even know, because, like, I'm kind of like <laughs> an independent type, you feel me? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's kind of like how I do it, because I've been independent, just making my own beats, engineering, and recording my whole shit all the time. So it's like independent everything. You're trying to keep all the money. I heard that, and that's and that's the wave now, right? Because there's yeah. so many resources that you can kind of just kind of do it yourself. Obviously, you'll need a team. Yeah, for sure. But, but uh, if it's like it's, if I fuck around and do get like somebody that's hot and some shit, I might fuck around and do it. You never know, because like our city, we ain't got shit going on. I'm just saying, so like, like what if it's a two-year <laughs> contract? You know, two, two no, three-year contract, two years, one player option. You know, yeah. who would it be with? Anybody? Three years. Three years. That's it. Yeah, and you're 22, right? No, bro. Who would you do, bro? Yeah. The contract? Three years. Three years. Yeah. Think about this. There's, you could go someone big like Def Jam, or you could be like QC. It could be I'll 300. It could be... Sony, right uh, Sony cool. QC. Let's see. Def Jam. I'll probably, yeah, I don't know. I'll rock with Def <laughs> Jam easy one, probably, probably for easy. sure. Yeah. They get money. <laughs> hey, if Def Jam offer me, I'll take that. i go Shit. I go YSL too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, Def Jam, if they off me, I'll take that. I think on YSL, I think you got to rap like them though. Yeah, I feel like YSL's their own shit. You could be a producer with the label too, right? Or like facts, it facts. Yeah, you could. Yeah, yeah. I'll definitely make some mm -hmm. shit like type of day shit too. But if it was producer wise, I probably would go with YSL for sure. Is there, is there any kind of, um, you know, 
genre of hip hop that you think you couldn't make beats for? Like, say I'm, um, mm. say I'm like uh, Earl Sweatshirt, right? Yeah. Do you think you can make those kind of beats for me? Yeah, bro. So that's honestly how I kind of like started, cause like I didn't know, I ain't never like even dropped these beats, but that's how I started like to learn, cause like I was trying to like learn it and bro can teach me, so I was just like fucking with it. Making like Earl Sweatshirt type beats, Isaiah Rashad's and shit. Yeah. And then I got a little better, you feel me? And I just started throwing them, you know, the new type of drums, the new type of snares and shit. Mm hmm. What do you think is like your specialty? Thank My specialty? I think really the melodies. Because like I'll throw some, like niggas think I'll be stealing some loops. Like I'll use some people's loops <laughs> if they send them, but like, nah, I'll be making my own loops. And it's like, that's what really catches people's eyes about the beats. Because I'll be, the drums don't really catch them. Mm. Why do you think that is? I think because the drums nowadays, it's not, it's like, all of them is heavy bass, so it's not, it's not really different. But people use different shit, mm. but it's still heavy bass, so when niggas is not focused on that no more, they want some shit that sound type, that'll sound, catch a nigga eye when you hear the melody. Hey, give it that's, a hey that's some real producer shit, right? Because there's only so many fucking 808s you could do. Exactly. And you can even do the UK, you can do the, um, the, what's it called, the, uh, the drill, the London and the New York drill, right? And they took the 808s and they made it go like, but like, yeah. what else? What else can you fucking do, you know? Yeah, I was, I be making those beats too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but like, yeah, just the loops, really. If you throw different loops, like trap loops, different. I, I can throw like a trap loop on like some soft bass, mm -hmm. or I'll throw like some hella soft shit on like some heavy trap shit, and they yeah. just, just love that shit. You feel me? Damn, man. You just get up. <laughs> in the morning, you start making beats. Yep, get up at like five sometimes, take a nap, or like I'll make like a beat, take a nap, and get up again, just start doing shit again. <laughs> Eat so what do you wanna? What do you wanna be, bro? See, I kind of wanna be. Uh, share share some of your vision with us. You know, it is a problem. A lot of people wanna manage or help other artists or even collab, but they never even try to use their imagination and to see what someone's vision is because I couldn't help you if I don't know what you're trying to do yeah. and if you're too embarrassed to tell me yeah. then how can I help you you know exactly now nah, bro see like me what do you see I'm, I'm, look, I'm looking at you right with now one thing. look see, at you like, right now what right are you gonna now, be right now I want to be a producer you feel me but like <laughs> A producer, like, I be rapping and shit, and these niggas tell me it's hard, so, you know, I be dropping my shit. Yeah. But I want to be a producer for sure. I am a rapper, though, too. But, like, me, I'm never satisfied with one thing. That's why when I first started rapping, bam, now I'm producing. Now, nigga, I'm, I'm trying to engineer. Yeah. See, now I'm going to get up there, and now I'm going to start trying to start a record label, start trying to manage somebody. Mm -hmm. And after that, I'm going to start doing other shit, you feel me? Like, I'm going to be... Just, just try to get a little bit I'm of everything in the business. I'm never satisfied with one thing. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Damn. Okay, so that's now. Do you think you will blow up and you'd move to, like, L.A.? Assuming everything goes back to normal after this dumb shit with the pandemic or whatever. You're going to be one of those. You move to Miami. You're going to stay, stay in Denver. Because there's some nice places out here, bro. Yeah, for sure. Well, where would you I go, think, man? Yeah, I think I'm a West Coast nigga for sure. I'll probably be in L.A. Mm -hmm. cooling. I'll probably have a spot out here, though. But Miami, I'm going to be out there a lot. You feel me? I just ain't going to live there like that. Yeah, <laughs> you feel me? Yeah. Why not? <laughs> Miami's a spot, but it ain't no spot. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I ain't trying to have a python in my backyard or some shit. You oh, <laughs> right. Yeah, they got... Nah, nah. Yeah, I don't fuck with them red tiles, bugs, all that shit. That's not me. In Colorado, we Big just have bugs. Like mosquitoes and shit. It's a different kind of heat. It's a different kind of heat. You feel me? I'm crying. Y'all be having... The, they be having some different type of red tiles in the South, bro. Gators and shit, fast as hell, like in your backyard. So what's going on with the hip hop scene out here? T tell me about what, what you think about what's going on out here. Yeah, I Sound think this shit. shit. Yeah, I think it's like niggas ain't blown up yet. There's hella niggas that should blow up. Like this nigga, it's key should be up for sure. Oh yeah, yeah. We'll do the Most we'll do the key like, interview later for sure. Yeah, he should be up. There's a lot of niggas that should be up. It's just like it didn't it ain't pop off yet. And I think it's only because, like, when, when one person get up, everybody that was supporting them start to, like, hate because they getting too much, you know what I'm saying? Getting too much clout. Too much, like, too much local clout, too. <laughs> yeah, but it's like, yeah, I don't know. True. But I think when the well, niggas start getting up, we got to push that shit because once he get up, everybody, you know what I'm saying? Now they know where Denver's at. So who the top? We, we were talking about earlier, They uh, these gentlemen asked me, 
I was setting up and I was smoking. No, I wasn't smoking. I was drinking with them. Been very hospitable. You know, I had to make sure. Because, hey, I've been doing, I've done interviews, not comfy situations, you know. And no, it's, it's all good here. And so they asked me, uh, like, who was I cracking in Cleveland? And it's hard. And this is something I've always done, even in my Cleveland episodes, too. I'm like, who, like, name five people popping here, you know, to kind of get at people a little bit. And, you know, it's hard for them to name. They say MGK, Kid Cudi, uh, Doughboy. Chip the Ripper, I guess. King Chip, but not really. And then, I don't know. You know? So, that's how I feel about where I'm from. It's unfortunate. And you guys, pretty much around here, from the maybe six or seven Denver producers or artists I've met, have all kind of been on the same page. And I'm like, yeah, like we have talent, but no one's really popping, popping like that. And they've been able to give me a couple names. So, you know? That's very drawn out, but who who from Denver is like kind of popping? It could be in the past Shit. too. Bone Thugs and Harmony for Cleveland, my bad. AP. Shit, AP. Give, yeah, AP's one of them. I will give you some Aco artists. Honey Pack, it's key. <laughs> them two niggas is really. Yeah. Ace Stag is hot. You know, Ox, Dope Ox Boy, Deuce. Yeah. Get money yeah. sick. Yeah, get money sick. It's a lot of Aco artists. It's hot, for real. That should be hot too. Like hotter than they is. It seems, honestly, from my small sample size, it seems like uh, most of the artists that kind of like maybe have a sound I'm more drawn to, maybe that's my bias, are from uh, Aiko. Period. Straight up, just this. It's going to be like a montage of this because we're kicking it. But like people, like, people need to know that these artists are like, cool, they're like regular people, though. Nice. You know what I mean? Like You just have a gift. But you still kick it like somebody else, you know? And, and that's what leads me into the next couple questions I got. I'm going to get real nosy, okay? Yes, sir. Sure. Okay. So, I need to know... <laughs> Man, you I got need some to know... Oh, Okay, fuck it. I need, I need to know where... So, okay, when this is over, we're like, we don't have to wear masks and stuff, which I'm assuming is going to happen. Where do I need to go to so I can, so I can play and figure out what's going on, like, in the music scene here? You know, like, where, like, are some venues where, like, where would y'all hang out if you're just trying to, like, network? Not be on no bullshit. Network. How not go, network? you know, y'all not haters. You know, people just go to the events just to hate on people. Yeah. No shit like that. Yeah. Before 14 or before 14? Well, I'm, a, I'm assuming, <laughs> Like, yes, when before, we be at before, the club, then, sometimes the niggas will, like, walk up to me and be like, you make beats and shit. So, like, that's really? kind of, like, networking, yeah. Right, and right. this party we went to, like, about. a couple weeks ago, niggas were saying, like, you make beats. So, it be networking when you see, when you just see people, bro. Hmm. Shows. Okay. Shows for sure too, cause. Okay, but what's the what's the place? Like in Cleveland, um, there was places called like Now That's Class. It was like a punk bar. Uh, uh the B side, but there was only like there wasn't or House of Blues, like which Summit, the Roxy, like any place. You fuck like around, that. yeah. You yeah. fuck around, go to any Summit. You, you gonna meet some artists, and sometimes some artists be out there. So yeah, you fuck around, get backstage, you get an open. Yeah, you might, people opening for the big. They you, might like your shit. So do. You, do you think um, Denver artists kind of stick to themselves? Is there a lack of unity here? Nah, we be kind of connecting. Like, I be connecting with, like, not from my music, but, like, beats and artists out of state, like, Canada and shit, like, Florida, yeah. Texas. Like, out of state. I be, it's really where I try to connect more. Because once I, everybody else fuck with me, then everybody here is really going to fuck with me. You feel me? That's how it works. <laughs> you got to get hot outside of you town first. You know? Yeah, and it's like... Shit, I ain't trying to get them. Yeah, like I take away. You feel me? You mm -hmm. want other people to know you. You already know them and shit. Yeah, yeah, so that shit. Like, yeah, you know, it's really not. You can spend way too much time trying to impress everybody from back home. Facts. And it's like, does it really matter though? What if you get a million streams, right? Make mm -hmm. a song. You two make a song, right? You make the beat. You write the song. You're on the hook too. You know ad libbing in the background all crazy and shit. You made this mega hit, but it's pretty much only popular overseas. Like, yeah, they know in America because they have to because they see you shining. You know, would you I'll really be, care? I'll be on a flight <laughs> man, next not. Tuesday. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> overseas, we're just America. Yeah. 
overseas, you know how much the world you, is and, and you would love, <laughs> and You would love to be hot. You would love to be hot in your city, of yeah, course. that's cool. That's but shit. it's like, you want to go. What are they doing for us now? Facts. <laughs> hey, this dude's chill as fuck. Listen, okay, so you got no beef? You got nothing? Y'all so chill. I, I was waiting to come out here. I thought I thought it was going to be crazy. I thought they were beefing with each other, talking shit. Everyone's like, eh. I, yeah, I ain't going to say I got no beef right now. Niggas got friends. <laughs> niggas is cool There's around some corn here. balls in this motherfucker. Yeah, it's shit. Niggas be hating and <laughs> shit, but I ain't going to say it's beef. <laughs> right, it's not all the way there. Yeah, you the feel me? I ain't going to call they, it beef. They, up. they can't do shit. All they so do how, do they, how do they hate around here? Do they, like, subtweet you? So I don't, I don't take that as the B or like as isn't like a, isn't like a this is that hating? It's someone's talking about you, but they won't even like Hell, give you that. That's that's yeah, that's I don't take that for real. Like, if yeah. if somebody like really hit me hating, then that's when it's like nobody right, beef with this yeah, nigga. Yeah, but they'll hate on him because they don't like me from a distance. <laughs> from yeah, a distance. If he yeah, if somebody hating on him, they probably don't like me either. Shit. This <laughs> 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 is be like that. They know I be with this nigga. <laughs> Like, you fuck that nigga trip, too. Shit. You can't be hating on the producer, bro. They like this kid. He's way out here. What you got in the works? Shit. I got hella songs right now, bro. I got a tape coming soon. I'm about to drop a video, too. That little snippet I put out. Right. You, you getting this dude DM me the shit? Facts. I seen the video. I was waiting for it. What's it going to drop on? So I'm going to put it on YouTube, but it's going to be everywhere, like Twitter, Insta. I'm going to put the song out, too, on everything, like the platform. Um, It's going to be, like, on your YouTube page and then the person who shot it or just their page? Uh, I'm probably going to put it on my page. I'm going to just shout them out and shit. Okay, okay. Yeah. Um, Who who shot it and, and how? tell me about that song and that experience. That's Hey, folks, yeah. we might as well, like, promote the song, you know? Yeah, so that's my boy, Doughboy Deuce. He shot my first video. It went up. Doughboy cool. Deuce. And he raps too. He's nice as fuck. Yeah, that nigga's cold. But me and this nigga just went to the stool one day. It's just like we had finished recording our shit. And we mm-hmm. just like trying to make some shit together. And then we just looking for beats on my phone. Found some shit. I just started freestyling. <laughs> I hopped out the stool. This nigga, I hopped out the booth. This nigga jumped out his seat like, nigga, that shit is hard. <laughs> he just started going crazy. Next day, made a video and shit. It's it's good to see, um, you know, people who believe in their work, you know, and that are trying to do this. So we got the video, we got the tape. Tell me a little more about that. Like, what what are we gonna do? We're gonna have like eight songs on there. We're gonna Shit, have. Do we have a number? Should probably around like seven, seven, eight, to nine. And, and so you're a producer. So is it is it just gonna be like your beats and you rapping, or you and your boys? Or is it just beats, or is it like a collective of, you know, other people you've maybe worked with? But yeah, what kind so of tape got, is it gonna um, be? I got Key on there. I yes. might put my boy A Loke on there. I got AQ on there. He's nice. Mm. But yeah, that's just that's just gonna be nice. I'm trying to throw like one more on there too, and that's probably gonna be a little shocker. So, <laughs> so, what, so how are you gonna? Uh, <laughs> Funny, that's real listen, shit. listen, listen. But it's okay, so how are you gonna? What are you gonna run it through, bro? We can, you just gonna drop it on the internet? You gonna be like, hey, internet, blah, tape, and then what? You gonna pay my high minute fifty bucks or whatever they take to do that stuff? Like you gotta, you gotta. Who are you gonna run it through? You know, you so gotta run through usually, a couple people. I don't usually pay promoters, bro. Like, cause like the first shit I ever put out just blew up on itself. He'll pay the promoters though, but like I pay the promoters too, man. Yeah, yeah, I was so thinking about yeah. doing that for like my next I know, I love just so it to get popping. But like yeah. I really, I just put it on Insta, pay for that little Insta promotion. You feel me, mm-hmm. <laughs> niggas? Yeah, that shit. Yeah, that shit is solid though. It really is solid. That's my nigga. I pay for this nigga shit. Yeah, he did one time. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> That's the team though. You know what I mean? Eventually, everybody's getting money. I'm on the song with bro, so like, why not? I like the fucking song. So yeah, that's my brother. That <laughs> He's off the camera though. Yeah, that's our blood brother. <laughs> ah, this nigga. Oh yeah, so how do y'all know each other? Thank you. <laughs> I met this nigga like freshman year. Went to high school together. Okay. I was a local. Nah, I ain't gonna say nothing. Local guy. <laughs> We're local artists right now. Local artists. <laughs> and then, my friend here. Elijah. 
Yeah, that's my older brother. That's your older brother? Yeah. Nah, that ain't yeah, good. Say he's straight. You wanna get on the ooh? You wanna get on the camera? Real quick. Yeah, that's my brother. Elijah. That nigga do all the sports. Hit him up. He need a contract. <laughs> Baltimore Ravens hit that nigga. You feel me? Hey. Seven cops in a row. Seven <laughs> cops. <laughs> It's hard though. Juke and the police. <laughs> yo, yo, okay. <laughs> oh, we got lost. We got lost. Um, damn, man. You think you just try to like keep it just like with family, with your music? You seem um like calm and collected. Yeah. You know, you seem focused. You seem focused, my guy. With my music, like, I don't really keep it with family. Like, they'll hear it, though, and be like, damn, it, like, this you? And I'm like, mm-hmm. yeah, and they'll start liking it and shit. But really, I'll just be, like, posting my shit, and other people just fuck with me. Because, like, I just got new fans, and that's how everybody, and they stuck with me, too. Like, I be having people out of state hit me, like, when you dropping again and shit. So I just be trying to drop again. That's really why I keep doing the music. Cause that's what they was fucking with first, and I like that shit too. Like, cause it's cool. Like, it's fun it going is. in the booth and shit. You feel me? Yeah. Yeah. So I be in the booth. We could be doing a bunch of bullshit, you know. Fuck around, make some tight shit. Yeah. I'm just saying, you you could be doing a bunch of bullshit instead, but instead you're spending to choose your time and do something constructive and artistic, which is very important. Facts. You know, for urban youth, we're not getting political this podcast, but. I have to point out that that's very, very important. And this dude keeps getting me drunk as fuck. Hey, what's up with the air out here? I feel like I get high and drunk as fuck quick as fuck yeah, out here. Yeah, we way up out here, bro. Bro, I had three drinks here tonight, and I had to take a, I had to take a minute to drop my girl home and shit. I was just like, yo, what's up? You got but a it was girl out here already. Yeah, I got a girl. Damn, damn, I'm damn. Going crazy. Listen, man. You been out here for six weeks? Yeah, I've been out six weeks. Damn. But she's from the Springs. You going nuts. macaroni. Yeah, so it's all good. <laughs> you going nuts. Six weeks? Six weeks. You can't slow it down a little bit? I can't, man. Explore? I can't, man. <laughs> I feel that. We're yeah. You, see, he's already giving me the liquor, and now he's telling me to make these <laughs> irresponsible <laughs> decisions. <laughs> I am no, set up for life, funny, my I'm friend. Telling you. This is the key. I can't, I can't chase that no more, this you know? This is real life. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> so do you um I know you you said you play stuff by ear um and your stuff by ear plenty of artists have done that mm. and do, do you think do, do you use any um what's it called like keyboards or like little yeah. boxes or whatever I got PCs? a little keyboard and like the beat pad so yeah I like really I'll just lay the melody down and I'll just play some shit in the background with the keyboard but really to find the melody I'll just play with the keyboard all just a bunch. If you sample, if you sample, what's yeah. some kind of like area you go to to look for some stuff like soul music? Would it be like yeah. you can go to fucking like official soundtracks for like video games and shit, or you can go to like classic music? You could just you could do, you could sample anything. Like what what area yeah. was you? I do a lot of shit from like just the nineteen hundred like R and B shit. I do Ooh. I sample a lot of them shits. You feel me? Like from the, <laughs> from like the 60s to the 90s, you feel me? It's like, because he gave me a sample from some old ass song. I ain't never heard it. And that shit blew up. And niggas was buying that shit like crazy. Mm. So we got the tape. We got the influence. <laughs> that motherfucker old as hell. <laughs> No, nah, it's cool, bro. This is kind of how my show goes. That's kind of how the show goes. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. What else? What else would What else would trip fans want to know, though? You know, what kind of uh, what kind of ladies is trip like? Shut the you got fuck a girlfriend? Up. I like all all the thickies. They gotta be thicky. No, I said they gotta be. Do they gotta be? Yeah, you feel me? All the thickies, you know what I'm saying? Good credit, a little money in their pocket. You know yeah, the saying? credit score has got to be like yeah. at least 750. <laughs> 750. You feel me? If you hear it. I'm gonna need it. So, what else, man? What else the world got to know? I can end it.
But you could talk your shit and make sure you give me your tags too, you know, um, like where where we can find you um, on all platforms. You got to say all that for me. Yeah, so uh, you can look me up on iTunes. You can look me up on Insta. Everything just Suave Trip or Suave Trip Beats. Spell that, spell that. Yeah, it's uh, S-U-A-V-E-T-R-I-P, no space, and then, or Beats with no space. Yeah, you can look me up anywhere. Google that. You can go to um, Google it. Insta. Google it. Yeah, you Google that too. <laughs> if you Google it, it's easy. Yes, and they can buy. They can buy some of your shit off iTunes, right? Yeah, you can buy my shit and on then, iTunes. Some and music. Like beat stars. Beat stars. You can get some beats off there. You can go view my YouTube channel, Suave Trip Beats. I got all my shit on there too. Not all my shit, but you can go click on the link, tap you in. <laughs> We're going to end it there, man. I appreciate you being on that yes, show, sir. man. It's low road, man. Already. Thank you. Yes, sir. Hey.